So Mid America Truck Show 2023. Yes, I just got back. Yes, I enjoyed myself. So the Mid America Trucking Show is the largest trucking show in the world. It was held from March 30th till April 1st. It takes place annually at the Kentucky Expo Center in Louisville, Kentucky. So did I have a good time? Let's talk about it. Yes, it was my first time at a truck show. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Let's backtrack. So we went, I drove all the way to Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, so we got there at night. It was supposed to be a nine and a half hour trip. It ended up being about 12 hours until we got there from Toronto all the way to Louisville. Why did I drive? Because I really wanted the experience to stop by the truck stops in the US. I mean, I always hear about it in theory, but I've never actually been to one. Well, so yeah, so 12 hours took me to get there. And then once we got there, the following morning was all go, go, go. We came to the expo at around noontime. We were there the entire day. I felt like I probably did a marathon on that day by 6 p.m. my legs were on fire and I took comfortable shoes I knew I, I needed some uh, you know some comfortable running shoes but still it did not help I was on my legs the entire day and I talked to probably hundreds of people I have a stack of business cards probably maybe about 150 business cards of people that we talked to networking that was the reason why I went I really wanted to network honestly the last 15 16 years I've been trapped in an office yes the offices over the years get bigger and bigger but I can probably count on two hands how many times I went out for lunch and I get invited all the time. I refuse to go to lunch because I feel like it's a waste of time. I will though invite people to to our boardroom over here where I will have lunch with them. We'll just order in. It'll be a quick hour and then I'll get back to work. So I just want to put into perspective on how big this thing was. It was a million square feet with different wings and different sections of the truck show. I mean, you had section number one, which probably took me about four and a half hours. And then you had section number two, which it took me two hours on the first day and another two hours on the second second day. And I was going through this truck show really, really fast because I knew I only had one full day and then another two, three hours the second day. By noontime on Friday, we were out of there. So I had a 12 hour drive, went to sleep, woke up, went to the expo, spent a full day there. And then on the second day, went to the expo for another two, three hours and then drove another 10 and a half. I was able to make it back in 10 and a half hours. Honestly, I didn't have any expectations. I just knew it was a very, very large event and I was really looking forward to it. I was very excited. I was kind of shy to talk to people. I didn't know what kind of response I would get. I didn't know how many people that actually recognized me. I didn't think anybody was going to recognize me, to tell you the truth. But I was quite surprised with what I got. I felt nervous. I mean, everything that I do is in front of a camera. And now it's like in front of all these people and talking to people. I'm more of the uh, the shy type. I know you don't believe it, but I am more of the shy type of personality. I got a lot of smirks. I saw that people did recognize me. I was very nervous. Yes, at first. I had two videographers with me all the time. And the second that those videographers were filming me yes we got a lot more attention and people started recognize oh look that's that guy but I, when I was without the videographers I didn't get much attention it was when the videographers came out that I, I got a lot more attention I wanted to go because I've been honestly I, I haven't networked with people the way I was I'm supposed to network with people I know everybody or anybody who uh, who does business with ET transport or you know the drivers that I'm in touch with which is over 4,000 truck drivers I do everything online I do everything over the phone I do everything via emails and I do everything on Zoom or Teams. I never see anybody. I never meet anybody. So this was a perfect chance. There's a lot of my customers there that I'm doing sponsorship videos for and I really wanted to connect with them. I really wanted to see them. I've seen them multiple times on Zoom and I really wanted to connect with them on a personal level and that's what's missing uh, I think in, in what I'm doing. I also got to connect with a lot of new customers and a lot. I mean think about it. I was at a truck show where people spend thousands of dollars on booths and what do they want? They want to market their product. So what better place for me to be in there? Somebody who has a channel with over 300,000 truck drivers and hundreds of potential customers with booths over there. So yes, it was very important for me to network with people. I was really hoping to see the entire team of OTR. I was really excited to see the entire team of DAT. And this one company here from the, from the GTA that I just love their coffee. Was really happy to meet uh, a couple of their staff members, really friendly people, unbelievable product that they have. From the thousand vendors that I saw at Matt, I probably spoke to about maybe 400 people and I was interested in doing some sort of collaboration with about 100 people because their products were so unique. Their products were so special that I really think the world doesn't know about these products. You know, truck drivers do not know about these products. At the end of the day, it would make life easier for our industry. There was a couple of uh, Conestoga trailers, roll tights that I saw that really, really stuck out. There were a couple of trucks, but again, my eyes only see the Cascadias, but there were other beautiful trucks there. There was something that I don't quote 
correlate with, which is uh, flat nose trucks, but there were some stunning trucks over there. I mean, man, I would never in my life drive one of those or recommend one of those for any over the road, you know, long haul truck driver. But yes, I can admit that they were stunning, stunning. I don't know if ET really benefited from the trip. I know I personally really benefited from the trip. The channel has really benefited from this trip. A lot of people that never heard of us and never heard of our platform and there's so many truck drivers there. But yeah, definitely uh, people that have never heard of our platform that got to know us, that got to know what we do. Who knows? I'm actually thinking that maybe next time I will probably end up getting a booth over there and doing my my doing my own thing. So I knew I was pressed with time. So I was speed walking through the aisles and it's just things that caught my eye. So, you know, there was probably 15 different factoring companies there and there was probably 15 different finance companies. I saw so many backup cameras. I've never seen so many freaking cameras in my life. There was so many software companies there. You know, I talked to two, three of them, but it's like, okay, it's this is getting repetitive. There's a lot of them there. And then there was the unique ones like, you know, mattress, the mattresses. The mattresses was awesome. It was such a good idea that because so many truck drivers you know they, they they're in need of these mattresses and they're really custom made size for trucks so i would love to have done you know a collaboration with a mattress company and give our audience some sort of uh, incentive to buy through people that i've met over there so yes those th there were so many unique companies and i can't wait to share them with you guys at this show my favorite part about the show was to see how gigantic our industry is i went there on the slowest day so i was there for the full day on the Thursday. Now, when we walked in there for three hours, two, two and a half hours, we were there on the Friday. You couldn't move in there. It was that busy. Now, I couldn't, I can't imagine what happened on a Saturday. I really can't. But on Friday, I was there and I was getting aggravated because I couldn't move as fast as I wanted to because I was just bumping into people all over the place. And there were booth after booth after booth. There are hundreds of people, thousands of people there. It was so nice to see our industry at such a large scale. It was really nice to see. And it, and it puts a lot of uh, perspective for me on how big trucking is in America. It is huge. I saw probably 50 different trucking companies recruiting there. I did not even go into their pay packages. I didn't even have time for that, but I, I would have loved to see what American companies pay their drivers. But there were so many recruiters there. It was, it was unreal, it was unreal. Absolutely, I would go back next year, yes. I would have probably liked to allow myself a little bit more time over there. I think that we were really compressed with time. I would have liked to talk a little bit more. So as I was talking to people about what we do, we traded contact information and then that was pretty much I had to go to the next booth. I would have probably liked to get to know their products a lot more, but again, I will be in touch with them via email and we'll get to know a lot about their products. There was so many good stuff over there. I, I gotta rate this, I gotta rate it probably a 10 out of 10. Honestly, I know what it's like to put an event together, an event together for ET Transport, probably 150, 200 people. I cannot imagine what it takes to put an event together for 70,000 people and a thousand vendors. Like the amount of planning that goes into this, I can't even imagine how long you need to prep for something like this. So yes, I would give it 10 out of 10 because it was very organized. The booths were lined up together and they kind of sectioned it off in, in a really nice way. There was different wings of uh, different companies. They spread them out. Uh, I would say evenly. So you, it's not like you would walk into one section and all the recruiting is there. So they would spread it out properly uh, amongst the entire floor. Because if I would have walked into a section that only has 50 companies recruiting, I probably wouldn't have gone into that section. But they kind of spread it out nicely and the entire place was jam packed. So yeah, so I would rate it 10 out of 10 because I can't imagine the kind of planning that goes behind in the back scenes. I mean, even to set up all these booths, I understand that they gave, they allowed people to come in there on Wednesday to set up all these booths I mean thousand booths to set up the night before I mean I would love to see a time lapse you know of how these booths got set up and how fast they got set up but it is amazing so yeah truly unbelievable experience for me yes it was the first truck show I've ever been to I'm not too proud of that but it definitely won't be my last I will be definitely going there again next year another thing that I saw guys if you recognize me and if you know who I am don't be shy to say hi I mean I see that the guy is looking at me and I see some people are looking at me they're like is it him is it not him and a lot of you guys Guys recognize me but I, I think you guys are a little bit too shy to just come up and say hey how are you so don't be shy I'm a very approachable guy I'm very friendly we will definitely talk about fuel consumption no I'm joking we won't talk about fuel consumption you know just say don't be shy to say hello I'm a really approachable very friendly person 
Thailand and I had an awesome time and I will see you guys there again next year. Leave the comments down below again and if you guys are going to other truck shows, let me know where you guys are going so maybe we can see you at the next truck show. Maybe we don't have to wait a whole year until this one. Maybe we'll see you guys at a different truck show. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, -E and I'll catch you in my next video.